Hello friends, in my previous video, I have already discussed how you can remove all the vowels from an input string, okay? Here I have written the code. If you want to check the explanation of this program, you can go through the link given in the description, okay? Let me show you the simulation. So evaluate selection. Suppose let me give what is your name, okay? See? W H T is I is uh, removed S Y R N M question mark. So this is removing the all the vowels from the string and it is giving only the consonants and other special characters like those. Now the question is just reversed. Remove all the consonants from the input sentence or input string and print uh, vowels along with other characters which are not alphabets or whatever numbers like that. So what to do? How you can modify the same program? See, these conditions are whether to check whether these are not vowels. So we have to make this equal to and instead of and and if Q, U, if Q is at least equal to small a or capital A or small b or capital, sorry, or small e or capital E or small o or capital o like that. So or function instead of and function we have to use. So we are or or. And here that is replaced by, I hope you have understood this one very clear. Okay, all the and and you just replace by or or and uh, all the not equal to you replace by equal to equal to. Okay, so let us do that. Now, okay, here one more will be there. Now this is equal to and this end end is or or and this is equal to okay and this end end also will be replaced by or or and this is equal to equal. now you see now if these conditions are satisfied that means q will certainly be either one small letter alphabet or capital letter alphabet then that will be stored in y so let us check whether our code is working or not. Suppose let me give here Jack and Jill went up the hill. Okay. See what it is giving output. A A I E U E I. Why it is so? See Jack. Only A is vowel. So it is printing first step. Then and a is second vowel, so here it is a is printing. Now Jill i is vowel, so that it is printing i. Then went c w e n t e is vowel, right? So basically e it is printing. Okay, up u is vowel, so u is this printing. Then d e is vowel, e it is printing, and hill i is vowel, so that it is printing i. But the matter of fact is that all these spaces are also deleted because you know that the ASCII character of space is 32, right? But it is not satisfying any of these conditions. So if all the, all the conditions of odd operation is false, output will be false. So that it will not store in Y. So, uh, so you may think that, okay, fine, if space is the problem, so here we can write one more uh, condition, if Q equal to equal to 32, and that's all. Let us check. See, enter the sentence. Suppose let me give same one. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Okay, enter. C A A I E U E I. Exactly, it is printing our this statement. Okay, fine. So our code is working. Let us check for other combination. So, control A, evaluate selection, enter the sentence. Suppose let me give what is your name. See, A, I, your, so O, U will be printed and name A and E is printing. But the matter of fact is that here question mark it is not printing. So that is issue, right? So again, you have to add the uh, question mark, the AC character corresponding to question mark in the condition. Suppose after that I give uh, that uh, exclamatory mark, then again uh, the code will not work. So like this, you cannot modify the code again and again. So what you can do, 
you just remove this uh, bracket condition also so we can do like this if the q or the uh, integer corresponding to a particular character is from capital a to capital z or small a to small z then only we will check this condition otherwise otherwise we will directly put them in this matrix that will solve our problem so if you can write like this q greater than equal to 65 that is corresponding to capital a and and q less than equal to 90 that is corresponding to capital z okay or q greater than equal to 97 corresponding to small a and and q less than equal to what is small z value let me check first once so small z value is 122 you just remember in the whole table capital a capital z small a and small z you just try to remember others you can easily calculate so small z is 122 right so basically q less than equal to 122 if this condition is satisfied then only we will check like this okay end of this otherwise else simply you put that in the array and in this let us check whether our code is working or not enter this sequence suppose let me give what is your name see now it is giving the question mark also so that our code is perfectly working let us check for other cases also welcome to my video tutorial on matlab okay just i have given one exclamatory uh, mark to check whether our code is working or not see welcome to my my m y so nothing no vowel is no uh, vowel is there so that it is corresponding to this nothing is printed then video i e o it is printing then matlab matlab in matlab a and a two vowels are there it is printing and along with exclamatory marks okay so our code is perfectly working just algorithm is very simple if q is an alphabet that is if q greater than equal to 65 and then q less than equal to 90 that is q is in between capital a to capital z or q is in between small a to small z then we will check like this otherwise directly print okay and finally list all the algorithm is same like how to uh, remove all the vowels in a sentence like whatever i have explained in my previous video okay so this is all for my this video i'll post the same code in the comment section of my this video if you want uh, to check you can go through that comment and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and for algorithm of removing all the vowels from a sentence please check my previous video i'll post the link in the description okay thank you for watching